Item number SCP-6246, Object Class Cutter, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-6246 is uncontained, though its contempt priority remains low. Settings are to be disregarded as hoaxes, and the use of other disinformation protocols or amnestics are permitted should they become necessary. Description SCP-6246 is an unidentified entity, presumed human, whose head is constantly enveloped by flames. The flames appear to burn indefinitely without an identifiable fuel source. Despite this, the individual remains unharmed and shows indifference to the fire's presence. At no point has it been sighted without this defining feature, which heavily obscures its face, preventing identification. SCP-6246 is responsive to external stimuli aside from the flames and is non-hostile. SCP-6246 is of average height, approximately 1.8 meters tall, and is usually seen wearing a coat and cargo pants. However, variations in its attire have been noted throughout all of its manifestations. The entity manifest via teleportation. Following the arrival at a location, SCP-6246 will remain at the site, usually unmoving, for approximately 10 to 20 minutes before demanifesting. Any other anomalous properties SCP-6246 may possess or are known. No discerning correlation has been identified between the locations in which it has been sighted. Though a noted detail between all these locations includes their remoteness to human habitation alongside low levels of pollution, further details have yet to be identified. Addendum 6246-1 Discovery SCP-6246 was not initially recognized as an anomaly and was thought to be an urban legend due to the majority of sightings being reported on PearlWatch.net a popular site with a user base focusing on speculating the existence of anomalous phenomena. Though initially disregarded as a hoax, SCP-6246's existence was later confirmed once a Foundation agent, Finley Moss, encountered the anomaly while on duty. Moss is driving along on a road with fields on either side. He continues driving for some time until he notices a pillar of smoke in the distance. He slows down, observing the rising smoke. Moss looks down at his watch and then stops the car at the edge of the road. He gets out and climbs over a wire fence to investigate the source and enters the field. As Moss moves further in, pushing aside the tall grass, a clearing comes into view. An individual, SCP-6246, remains standing in the center, wearing a brown coat and beige cargo pants. It is alone in the small clearing, with its hands and its coat pockets. Moss notices the entity's head of flame, alongside its non-responsive attitude, and retreats several steps. He pulls out his pistol, press checks it, and slowly walks out into the clearing. Agent Moss' aim is held on the entity as he moves forward enough to see the front of the head. Its face is obscured by the flames. It makes no response to Moss. Moss remains in this stance for several minutes, unmoving, but eventually lowers his pistol. I was wondering when you put it down. The wind picks up, and the tall grass around the two waves. The flames on the entity's head flicker and crack. Nice breeze, don't you think? Moss hesitates. Yeah, I... It's nice. It's cool. The two steer into the distance. The wind calms. As the evening gets darker, the sound of insects chirping rises. The wind picks up again, and the grass whistles. The branches of trees in the distance do too. Well, you'll be standing with me for a while. What's your name? Oh, Finley. That's my name. 
So, what are you up to here? What? Well, you came to me now, didn't you? Oh, yeah, uh, I did. Why? I, uh, had some time on my hands, and I thought I might take a look to see if it's a fire, you know. And then I saw you. Mm hmm. There was a pause between the two. The sky, previously clear, now has a single large cloud moving across it. The moon has come up, though it's faint, since there is still light. The cloud slowly drifts towards it. So, uh, what about you? The entity raises its head and looks up at the moon, soon to be obscured by the cloud. Several moves are heard. Agent Moss looks around, though is unable to identify the source. I like seeing views like this, listening to them, feeling them, special ones like these. The wind rushes once more, a mosquito land on the back of Moss's hand. He flicks away, the entity scratches its neck. There are lovely moments everywhere, perfect ones, and anywhere and wherever. You'll always find them. They'll always happen. The sun had almost set, and now the flame on the entity's head mostly illuminates the darkness. I like traveling to those places, the places where they happen. So that's why you're out here. I want to see them all, feel them all, smell them all, even taste them if I could. Ha! Though sadly, they only ever happen once, and sometimes... I'm not even there to see them in their glory. Another moo is heard. The sun has finally set, leaving only an orange glow from below the horizon. What do you think of it? There is a pause from Mars. I thought it was beautiful. The chirping of crickets is now loudest. Bats fly above, clicking. Me too, me too. I'm glad you like it. The two continue watching the horizon. Oh, uh, you didn't tell me your... Moss turns around, though the entity is not beside him. He looks around, though cannot find it. The silhouette of a cow emerges from behind some grass and moves once more. Moss stops searching and looks up at the moon. The cloud moves away, revealing it. Moss sits on the ground and looks at the pistol in his hands. He drops it and covers his eyes with the back of his elbow. He sighs.